So Roger Black went to Loughborough University Sports Technology Lab to test out a new piece of kit. For athletes to perform at their very best, the more oxygen you can get into the bloodstream, the better. That means that the lungs have to perform at their optimum level. Now, breathing is controlled by the muscles that surround the lungs, predominantly the diaphragm, but also in between the ribs. Make these muscles stronger, in theory, then the lungs should perform better. Now, that's where this piece of kit comes into play. It may look a little bit funny, but it's still at the prototype stage. The vest is designed to give the muscles around the lungs something to push against. They get fitter the harder they work, and that will benefit overall performance. Feels good. It's tight. Right, well, I've got the vest on, and it's already very tight. I'm just going to make it even tighter by pulling on these here, just to really get the pressure in on the muscles. And I reckon that's about as tight as I can handle it. I can really feel it here, especially uh, around the ribs and, and the intercostal muscles. So, uh, Mike, what do, you, what do you want me to do? I've got a cycle ergometer here. Right. Going to get you to exercise on there, nice and low, okay. first few minutes. And then when you're ready, I'll ask you to go onto the mouthpiece and we'll start recording your breathing yeah. and heart so rate. So just turtle away, yeah? Yes, that's great. When you're ready, I'll pass that to you. That looks great. What we're going to do now is start to increase the work on the bike, so it will get a little bit more difficult. I just want you to keep that steady, steady pattern going. As Mike made me cycle progressively harder, I really began to feel the vest stopping my rib cage opening up as much as I would have liked it to. Just keep it going, Roger. Just a minute more. Roger's working quite hard now. You can tell that his breathing frequency has increased. He's taking much deeper breaths, and he's finding this exercise quite difficult. OK, and I think we should stop you there. That's a great effort. I'll take the mouthpiece. Ah, lovely. <laughs> Thank you. Ah. And we'll just stop the ah. test. Oh, God. I haven't ridden a bike for years. <laughs> All the time, especially as it gets harder, it's not just your legs, you're really conscious of this vest, you're conscious that it's squeezing and you're always having to fight against it. It really, really works. What I was able to see is, although your breathing didn't change that much, your heart rate was much higher than you'd normally expect for that level of exercise. Right. What we're seeing there, of course, is that you, whilst your breathing muscles are working much harder, that is adding to the total work of, of right. the exercise. Right. And that's exactly what we want to see. Okay. And here's some more evidence for the vest. Greg Haynes is a student at Loughborough who also swims for Wales. He helped design and trial the vest after an injury prevented him from swimming for 15 months. So, Greg, how did you get injured? Well, it was um, just an overuse injury and tendonitis in my shoulder. And how did you feel knowing you were going to be out for a while? I was gutted and my first thoughts were how long it's going to take me to get back into full training and back to full fitness. So, for the last three months that he was out of the pool, Greg wore the prototype vest in training and held on to his hopes to swim in trials for the Commonwealth Games. It paid off. In spite of the length of time he'd been out of the water, he achieved three personal best times. Now Mike and the research team intend to continue working with Greg and other athletes with the aim of helping them improve their breathing.